Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how Arsenal could line up with Philippe Coutinho in the team. How Arsenal could line up with Philippe Coutinho in the team and all the formations we could use if we get to sign him so over the last few days we've been linked with Coutinho actually the last few months but the, the links have become stronger the last couple of days and maybe a week or so and um it's looking like um he's gonna come to England maybe to Arsenal maybe to Tottenham or maybe to Chelsea and uh, all those three teams are linked to him right now um of course Barcelona have, uh, have actually said that they get uh, they're looking to get rid of eight to ten players that should probably include Coutinho, Rakitic, um, Dembele, all three of them, even Umtiti, all four of them who we've been linked with. Um, all of them are probably going to leave Barcelona at the, at the end of the season. Um, he was signed, of course, Coutinho right now is in Bayern Munich on loan. But uh, since he left Liverpool, I can really say it hasn't worked out for him. When Barcelona signed him for over 100 million, I thought he was going to be an instant hit and uh, he was gonna shine in Spain because the kind of um, football he plays and um, Suarez he played with Suarez before and um, Lionel Messi you'd have probably imagined they would have become a very very good partnership but unfortunately when they sat on the bench for so many games and every time he has played I haven't really seen the Coutinho was at Liverpool and in Bayern Munich he's been up and down up and down I've, hasn't really played a lot I've seen him in a in a, in a couple of games on the bench unfortunately so he's looking to restart his career probably and uh where better to restart your career uh than where you actually signed uh sorry shined last and that is in um england with liverpool he was in inter milan before that and he actually played a bit well but um liverpool was his best so far for his career i'd say and um would he be a good buy would he not be a good buy for arsenal uh, i think he would uh, for two reasons uh, first number one is creativity We've lacked creativity for so many years since Cazola, which I always say this, there's a time you had Kleb, Rosiski, Fabregas, even Flamini and the creativity was so good. And even after that with Cazola, Sanchez, even Ozil in the first couple of seasons, the creativity was there. But recently, Ozil has been in and out of the team. Whenever he plays, he doesn't really get to the ball or give those passes we are used to or we are supposed to be expecting from him. Sabayos played well for the first couple of games but injuries and all that hasn't really been the creator that we expected him to be so we're really lacking in terms of that we're having to depend on people like Aubameyang to score and to create sometimes even depend on Shaka to give those long passes and to create so it's not really ideal for us and number two is goals from midfield remember how Coutinho used to score goals at Liverpool free kicks volleys uh, shots from outside the box that is something we definitely lack at Arsenal goals from midfield Gwenduzi scored one goal for Arsenal so far since he came Shaka I don't remember the last time he scored Torreira I can't remember the last time he scored a couple of goals against Liverpool Sabayos doesn't score Ozil doesn't score Willock Nelson they don't really score on a consistent ba basis all of them don't play a, on a consistent basis so they never really get a run of games and don't even really get chances someone like Guendouzi I don't even remember the last time he got an actual chance to score so we don't really have goals from midfield so for those two reasons I think we actually would do with Coutinho in the team uh, and, and I've said he's going to have a better he needs a, a better start a new start in another team and um the only problem again is the amount of money you're gonna have to pay him per week how much is it i don't know if you're gonna split 50 50 with barcelona because they're actually looking to get rid of him on loan or something so i think that the ones who are actually willing to get rid of him so i think we can divide it 50 50 on loan uh, in terms of salary uh right now i think he gets to 50k a week at barcelona so that's a lot of money and as i said he's also been linked with uh, tottenham and chelsea so it's a battle between the london teams he's currently 27 years of age so the correct age for players but again if you're to buy him permanently I'm, I'm hearing Barcelona wants something like 90 million 100 million so I wouldn't really pay that kind of money for him so let's get into how we could line up with Coutinho um there are, I'm actually going to talk about five formations that we could actually work with Coutinho 
and the first one is on screen right now and that is our usual 4-2-3-1 where could he play in that formation first in the middle two can he really fit there? I'm not quite sure if he can fit there. Where Sabayas has been playing this season or lately, plus uh, that place where Shaq and Torreira normally play. Can you really have someone like Shaq and Coutinho? Maybe Coutinho uh, bring the ball from the back like Cazola used to do. I don't really know if Coutinho knows how to do that or has the strength or physicality to do that. But that is one position he could play in the 4 2 3 one Or behind the striker, the number 10, directly replace Ozil and play as the number 10. Or I, when he used to be at Liverpool, he used to play sometimes on the left wing. So could he really fit there? Maybe push Aubameyang to a strike and have Coutinho on the left. And then I know I've talked about Pepe being in behind the striker, but maybe Pe push Pepe back to the right and Coutinho in behind the striker. That is formation number one. You could have him in the middle two or behind the striker or on the left wing. Formation number two is the one I've talked about recently. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. And that's the three, four, one two three defenders two wing backs two midfielders one number 10 behind the two strikers so where can continue play there in behind the strikers uh maybe as obameng and lacazette um up front and continue in behind them but that would cost pepe's position or have obameng and pepe up front and continue in behind them but that will cost the likes of lacazette and martinelli their position another place you could have him in that formation is in the middle too but again Will he be solid enough in that position? Because remember what I've said. Um, I said on that video for the three, four, one, two. When those wing backs go forward and those three defenders are left, those uh, central midfielders have to cover the wing. So, can Coutinho really do that for you? I don't really think so. So, I don't think this is the formation for Coutinho unless you're playing him in behind the striker. Formation number three is the three, four, two, one. Slightly different from the for formation number two, which was three, four, one, two. This is three, four, two, one. One strike instead of two. So Coutinho here could play in behind Aubameyang with someone like Pepe or Sabaya. So with this formation, you could have one strike and then two creative midfielders in behind them. For example, you could have Aubameyang up front and then Ozil and Sabaya um, in behind Aubameyang or Sabayas and Pepe in behind Aubameyang or have Lacazette and Ozil in behind Aubameyang. All that could work. So with Coutinho, how could that work out? Maybe it depends on whether, it really actually depends on whether we sell Aubameyang or Lacazette or both. So let's say we sell Aubameyang. We can have Lacazette up front and in behind him, Coutinho and Pepe. Or if you sell Lacazette, you could have Aubameyang in behind him. Some, maybe Pepe and Coutinho, maybe Martinelli. That, it really, really depends. But that is another formation where Coutinho could work for us. And then formation number four is a different one. I think um, Marcelo Bielsa at Leeds plays this crazy formation. That is a 3-1, 3 one, three, one two. So three defenders, one central defensive midfielder, Three other midfielders, one uh, two wing backs on either side, and then one be one midfielder in front of the central midfielder, and then one attacking midfielder and two strikers. I know that is really complicated. All the players have to really know how to play that formation and understand it. Otherwise, the way I'm actually confused and you actually confuse it can really def uh, confuse the players. So here, Coutinho can play for us in the middle three. I think. He would be a bit comfortable, I think, in that position uh, rather than having him having to cover the wings. Here you could ask the defensive midfielder to cover both wings. But again, Coutinho, Coutinho would have to come back. That's one thing. So that is one position he could play or behind the two strikers as the 3 4 one, 2 But that again would cost someone like Pepe or Ozil their position. But really depends who stays and who doesn't stay. Formation number five is the same one that Liverpool plays. And that is a 4-3-3. Four, 4-3-3. Three, three. Four, three, three. three forwards like the way Salaman and Firmino. So you could have Aubameyang, Lacazette and Pepe. And then Coutinho. And then two defensive midfielders. So Coutinho could act as the, the person who comes for the ball from the defensive midfielders and takes it up front for the three forwards. So... That could be a good position. I actually think that would be the best formation for him in an Arsenal shot. But again, for me, I actually do prefer 3 4 one, 2 But as I've said, it depends on who stays and who comes and uh, how we are, how it actually decides to play the team and to fit everyone in the team. So it really depends on whether Bellerin stays or Kolasinac or what plan does he have so for Saka and Martinelli. So those are the five formations you could play. And formation five, you could play in the middle three, as I've said, or you could play in the left midfield if Aubameyang comes to the central striking role. 
So formation number one is the four, two, three, one. Formation number two is the three, four, one, two. Formation number three is the three, four, two, one. Formation number four is the three, one, three, one, two. And formation number five is the usual Liverpool Man City kind of formation, four, three, three. Um, those are the formations we could uh, how how we could line up with continue in the team. I think it's a bit interesting if we actually sign him. I don't know if we could, we, we could sign both him and William to the team. That would be interesting. But again, if we sign those two players and a defensive midfielder and a defender, and then manage to keep Aubameyang and Lacazette, I'd be very very happy. So that is um that is the lineup yeah that is the lineup of, of how we could um, actually line up sorry that is how we could line up with Coutinho in the team let me know in the comment section which formation you'd prefer more than the other or a general don't you want Coutinho at Arsenal do you want him at Arsenal uh, between Coutinho and William who would you prefer at Arsenal let me know in the comment section I'll link up my other videos in the YouTube card and in the description uh, if you want access to more exclusive content and early access to my videos, uh, join my Patreon page. I'll have the link in the comment section in the description. Thanks for watching. Again, I really appreciate it. Keep staying safe and I'll talk to you later.